Hello yogis and welcome to this 15 minute video specifically for the pelvic floor. So at the base of the pelvis, the ligaments, the fascia, the muscles create the pelvic floor that helps to support the internal organs. We want this area to be strong, yes, but we also want it to be able to release and to relax so that it's functional and dynamic. So make sure that you have some prop options with you. I have two towels, two pillows, and two blocks. And let's meet in a comfortable seated position. I'm gonna elevate my hips with a pillow. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. Place the hands on the legs. Let's come to the breath. Nice deep inhales and deep exhales. As you breathe, bring the attention to the pelvic region. So allowing the breath on the inhales to move all the way down the spine and into the pelvis. And as you exhale, feeling the air ascend back up the body, emptying out. As you inhale, the pelvic floor softens and spreads. And as you exhale, it lifts gently. Two more cycles of breath here. As the breath moves, you feel the movement in the pelvis. Let's add some spinal motion here. As you inhale, allow the heart to come forward, sit bones to move back and spread. As you exhale, rounding slightly, hugging your belly in. Inhale, heart opens, pelvic floor spreads and softens. Exhale, rounding, lifting, hugging. One more like this. And exhale. Coming back to your neutral seated position. All the animals today. Let's come into Malasana squat. You can have your prop remain underneath the sit bones or you can move it to the side if that feels good. And let's just hang out here. Hands can rest on the floor in front of you or just on the knees. As you inhale, send the breath to the pelvic floor. Again, nice deep inhale, softening. And exhale, lifting. Last time. Bringing the hands down in front of you. Let's meet in a tabletop position, all fours. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees nice and wide. Let's take a few cat cows. Inhale. Allowing the belly to move towards the mat, spreading the sit bones, heart lifts. Exhale, rounding the spine, hugging belly in. 
Bring the awareness to the pelvic floor. Inhale, soften, spread the sit bones. Exhale, lifting the pelvic floor as the belly hugs in. One more time like this. Soften and spread. Lifting, hugging. Neutral spine. Tuck the toes. Nice wide feet, at least as wide as the mat. And let's meet in downward facing dog, sending the hips back and up. Taking three giant cycles of breath here. Last one, breathing all the way to the pelvic floor. Walk the feet in to meet the hands in a forward fold. Wide legs. Hanging over, holding opposite elbows if that feels good. Keeping the breath that you've established. Long, deep. Hands come back to the mat. And we'll walk the feet back into downward facing dog. Coming here for one breath. and knees come down to the mat. Reaching for a prop, I am going to take two pill, uh, sorry, two towels. So rolling the towels up, I want to try to get as much height as possible. So I'm going to roll one inside of the other. Also the option to sit on a block. So placing the towels or blocks or pillows underneath the sit bones. We're gonna come and focus on the psoas, a muscle that runs through that pelvic area. So bring one of your feet flat onto your mat. Bring your hands back behind you and lift the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Three deep breaths here. Can even come up onto the toes of the flat foot to get a bit more height. Nice big inhales. Nice emptying exhales. Stretching the front of that hip Take one more inhale here. And allow the pelvis to come back down, moving into the second side. I'm going to pull that bent leg out. And slide the second one back beside the hip. Adjust. And when you're ready, hands come behind the body. Inhale, lift the hips. Again, option to come up on the toes of the flat foot to facilitate more height and a deeper stretch. Two more breaths here. Last one. And pelvis comes back down. 
Make your way out of the posture. You can come through a squat position, removing the prop, and coming down to seated. We're gonna move on to the back. A supported bridge pose. Coming down to the side of your body. And then rolling onto your back, feet flat, lifting the hips and sliding your towels, your pillow, your blocks under the sacrum. Supported Sechabandasana, bridge pose. Let's bring the awareness back to the breath. In your mind's eye, again, seeing the pelvic floor and allowing there to be natural movement guided by the breath. Inhale, soften. Exhale, lift. Taking three more cycles of breath here, following your own rhythm. Last breath. Pushing down into the feet to lift the hips and slide your prop out from under. Rolling onto your left side and bringing the body back up. We're going to be in a supported Supta Baddha Konasana. So lying on our backs with our legs wide open, soles of the feet together. So I am going to reach for a few more props. Add some pillows. And make sure that your towels are nice and high. If you want to get a third towel, that could be a great option. Again, bringing yourself down. The towel is lengthwise. My body is supported. Soles of the feet come together and knees open out to the side. Arms can be resting palms up or you can bring the hands to your belly, to your baby. giving your body permission to soften here, allowing the hips to open. And filling the body with the breath. Option to stay here as long as you want to. Or let's take two more cycles of breath together. When you're ready, using the hands to help the knees come towards each other. Gently rolling off the props. And in your own time, making your way up. 
Thank you so much for joining me and my pets today. And I hope that you found some of these postures helpful. Have a lovely day. Namaste.